What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're over Quant QNT down 0.8% at $90. I believe Quant went all the way down to 78 today, and we had a big bounce off a FIB level. I recently did update my buy order prices, which I will go over in the TA. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Quant. Yeah. If you find this content useful and you'd like to support the channel, head over to the Trading Crypto homepage where you can become a member. Click on the Join tab. It is $4.99 for a month. You get membership shoutouts, membership online chats, and priority replies and comments along with loyalty badges. Okay, let's get into quant. We're going to start with the day and then work our way to the four hour. On the day, we still are heading down. I was talking about that step up ladder up effect that we were at and we did not put a higher high in here. We're currently still in the ladder up effect, I guess you could say, until we break below this 0.5. We break below this low right here at around $74, $75, then this downtrend is what we're to be keeping an eye on. I currently, if you've been following my channel for a while, I've been having a buy order at around $46.75. I've changed that due to the way that the market's looking right now, and I don't want to miss out on quant um, at these lower prices. So I bumped up my buy-in order for a couple quant at $60, and then my next buy-in order is at $50, so just below the $786. I'm hoping if it comes down to the $786, I'll catch a fat wick down there, and that'll fill my $50 quant. So I have a small one at $60 and a large one at $50. That is my buying order. So for the short term on Quant, you can see that MACD did just flip over bearish. And the RSI is tailing back down after tagging 78.80 on the RSI. You can see we did hard candle to the 382, currently wicked down to the 0.5 on the day chart. Judging by the way the RSI is retracing, the MACD still has room to go in the bearish momentum. I would be keeping an eye on this 0.5 right here, around 77 to $75 I think Quant's going to be heading down to. That's going to be that very, very critical point for Quant because this ladder up effect that we've been in technically is valid until we fall below the recent low, which is this red candle right here at $75. So if we fall below $75, I think these buy orders that I placed down here will get hit. But that's not going to happen until we see this full candle break below the 0.5 at $75. Short term on the day, it looks like we're heading down to the 0.5 at around 77. We'll assess the situation at that time. Let's jump over to the four hour real quick and dissect it a little bit further on the macro time frame. I'll delete this. So on the macro time frame, you can see we did wick down to the 0.5 right here. Oh, let me adjust this fib so it's accurate. There we go. We did wick down to the 0.5 right here and had a large buy, a large recovery, a large bounce right there at around $78. Mag or RSI is actually saying, hey, it might be a good time to buy. You see this little green right here saying, hey, it might be a good time to buy. The MACD is about ready to flip bullish as well on the short time frame. So I think we're going to be testing out this resistance area, which we currently are right now. If we break above that, I think our next stop will be around $98 to $100. $100 would be a very difficult area to get over because it's a round, right, nice round psychological number. It's hard to fall below it, and it's hard to break above it. You can see we tested it several times as as support and we had that one top two top three tests and then we shut the bed so let's just keep an eye on a movement up to 100 dollars if we break above 91 i'm still have my buying order set at 50 and 60 dollars but in the short term i think we're going to be testing that 100 dollars range you can see this resistance just flipped into support on the channel our size extremely low macd is about ready to flip bullish so i think an upwards movement for quiet in the short term is definitely going to be the play approximately Let's look for a 6% pump right there. If we get back over 100, we'll have to assess the situation because that just means we're consolidating between the main resistance at 109 and $100 FIB area at the 236. But short term, I think we're heading up to $100. Longer term, I'm hoping to catch $60 and $50 quant. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat with me, make sure you join my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description.